Hey guys, it's Lena and welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I really needed to get to filming the pairing, the Omnipod and the T-Slim and why I switched because a lot of people have been asking questions about it and saying I need to do this video. So I'm finally doing it for you guys. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. I wrote out some notes here just so I wouldn't be rambling on about random stuff. The first thing I want to talk about is the sight changes and how long they take. The Omnipod takes five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. That's all. T-Slim, you got this part, you got this part, and then it also comes with the syringe. Let me tell you, it took me 15 minutes. And that was after I got good at it. The first time, it probably took me 30 minutes. It takes forever. And if you have time, it's fine. But I don't. I have school and I have homework and things to do during my day. So I just, no, I just don't have time for that. Another thing about the site change, this is what the Omnipod looks like. All you do is take off your old pod, you have to fill, put the insulin in there, stick it on, and then it goes in. That's all you have to do. Another thing about the site changes is this goes in on its own. You stick it on your body, press start on the PDM and then it goes in. It does it for you so that way you don't have to worry about did it go in, is it in correctly, is it gonna hurt, when is it going in, stuff like that. You don't have to freak out about it. With this you open it and you uh, you prime it, I don't know what the word is I'm thinking of, but you pull it back and you have to do it yourself. You have to squeeze it and Honestly, this, I don't know if it was just me or what, but the T90, it always stung so bad and it hurt. This one does not hurt at all. It's crazy. The, literally the first time, if you go watch my Omnipod vlog, I say this, the first time I put this in, I was so shocked. You could kind of feel it go in, but it didn't hurt at all. So that's another, that's like... A huge reason why I love the Omnipod. Obviously I didn't know this when I switched so this wasn't the reason why I switched but this is a reason why I love the Omnipod so much more than the T-Slim. And I don't want to be like saying all crap about the T-Slim because it honestly is such a good pump. I just want to tell my reasons why I think the Omnipod is a better fit for me. The next thing about the site is just the placement where you can put it and your freedom because with the Omnipod you can put it on your arms, your legs, your stomach, your back. People put it on their calf. With the tubing I never did like my arms and my legs because I was scared it was going to rip out or wouldn't be comfortable. With the Omnipod I love being able to move it around to different places. I know that some people it doesn't bother them with the tubing but the tubing was just in the way for me. It just was always a hassle. I just hated having the tube. So this is the only thing I have to wear. Like, perfect. I would rather wear just this than wear a little sight plus carry this. You see what I mean? I know some people don't want the Omnipod because it's so big, but think about it this way. You still have to carry around this, and this is bigger than this. You definitely can put the T-Slim on your arms and your legs in the different places. I just feel like it's easier and more simple and less stressful to have the Omnipod on those different places. This is pretty much the main reason why I wanted to switch was the tubing because I run, I do cross country, track, and I used to do volleyball. So the tubing was just always in the way, especially with volleyball. I would literally take off my pump, which was not the best thing, and it always messed with my blood sugars. My blood sugars were always high whenever I did volleyball because I would take it off because I didn't know what to do with it. I could have just clipped it back here, which is what I eventually ended up doing because I could not keep going without insulin. The tubing, it was just like in the way. So with the Omnipod, you can run with it on, and what I hated was 
With the T-Slim, I always wore these little belt things. I had to sleep in it. When you run, it jiggles up and down, and I don't know if it's just me, but that is so annoying. I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't run with that on, and I really wanted to keep running. Like, I love running. I just needed to get away from that tubing. It was so stressful and not fun. So, I wanted to switch to tubeless, and I did. I finally got to, and I was so excited when that happened. That was literally the reason why I switched was because the tubing. I didn't want the tubing when I was running. I needed freedom to be able to move and literally when you run you don't even know it's there. Like I can go like this, it's on my arm right now and you can move. You don't notice it. It's amazing. The next thing I want to talk about is clothing and like I said earlier you have to wear some kind of clip or have a pocket for your pump or you can have a little belt. I hated wearing these belts because I would want to wear a certain outfit and I didn't like the way it looked because I had to have this thing and you'd see the pump in my pocket or you'd see the belt and I just did not like that. I wanted freedom to wear what I wanted and not have it look like I'm wearing some big chunky thing around my waist. So with the Omnipod, I have it on right here. You can't, I mean you can tell a little bit it's there, but it's not like a big belt thing, which is what I hated so much. I hated the way it looked and I couldn't deal with that. I wanted to wear the clothes I wanted to wear and I wanted them to look how they were supposed to look. I didn't want them to look different because I had to wear that big belt. And along with that goes with school and PE. Last year was the first year I had to dress out in PE and it would take me so long because first off, if I was not wearing the belt, if I had pockets and I just wore it without it, I had to put the pump in the clip, string the tubing through, put on the belt, and then get dressed out for PE. And it would take me so long and I would always be late to class and everything. And it, it has to do with I'm kind of a slow changer too. So that, just adding that on just makes it even worse. I was literally almost late to class every single day after PE. It was ridiculous. So this year, now that I have the Omnipod, I am getting out of the locker room before the bell rings, which is amazing. Last year I was always so late. This year I'm almost before the bell, so that is great. The next thing I want to talk about is, I kind of already went over this, the appearance of them. I know some pumps look like a medical device. This one doesn't really look like a medical device. So the appearance of this doesn't really bother me. Neither does this. This probably looks more normal to someone who never sees a pump rather than this. But to me personally, the appearance doesn't really bother me on either one. A cool feature if you are looking to get the T-Slim is it is touchscreen. It's turned off right now obviously because I don't use it anymore. It's really lightweight too. The next thing I want to touch with on the Omnipod is the PDM has a meter in it. So you can test your blood sugar on this, you can bolus from it, all that fun stuff. This you can bolus from, you can't check your blood sugar on it. So I thought that was a really cool feature, you didn't have to carry around your pump plus a meter, you just have it all in one, which is really, really handy considering I don't have room in my little bitty purse to be carrying around 10 million different things. After I've said all these good things about the Omnipod, I wanted to kind of say some of the good things about the T-Slim. I don't want to say all bad stuff about the T-Slim because it is a really good pump. They're a great company and I feel like some of you guys are going to come on here trying to decide which one you want and I don't want this just to be like all for Omnipod. I want to tell my opinion on the T-Slim, kind of the good things too. So I wrote down a couple good things I thought you would want to know about it. So like I said, it is touchscreen. It looks more modern. It doesn't really look like a medical device. It's really lightweight and they're making waterproof ones, I think. So it's just really nice looking. It looks fresh and nice. Another thing on here is when you're adding your carbs, it has a calculator so you don't have to like do it in your head, which this has kind of helped me learn that mental math more. But this was really nice when you were adding it. You could say like 15 plus 
27 and it would do it for you. You didn't have to try to do it in your head. So that's really nice about this. And then finally, this pump is so reliable. It never failed on me. I would charge it every time I would get in the shower. So it never died. That's another thing. You don't have to do batteries. You just charge it right there. It never went off at school like to alarm me. It's a really good pump. It's just the tubing and the sight change really gets me. I just remembered another thing was when I was at school, it, this is so much easier to bolus from. If you're wearing a dress or if you don't want to be pulling out your tubing and your pump, this is so much easier than this. Obviously, I love the Omnipod so much more than the T-Slim. The T-Slim is a great, fantastic pump. I just wanted to touch base on why I switched and what I think is better about the Omnipod than the T-Slim. For me personally, um, not everybody is a runner. Not everybody needs to have a tubeless pump. So uh, hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, tell me down below which pump you like better, the Omnipod or the T-Slim. Sorry if my bra strap was showing the entire video. Hopefully you guys pick the right pump for you. And if you don't, hopefully you can switch like I did. I think that's pretty much all I want to say. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!